Grace Apostolic Church of Clawson, a village in Michigan, United States of America. A video went viral showing a baptism in the church of a person described as legally blind, who apparently gained his sight back. This is very interesting, so without wasting any time, let's watch the clips and come back. Blind eyes open after this man gets baptized. Watch this miracle happen. <laughs> Christians always love to pretend to perform miracles. We have so many hospitals with children in need. I would love one of these Christian healers to go and cure the innocent children. They would never do that and it's for a reason. If we read the description of the video, it says, Meet James. James has been legally blind for 8 years due to chemical damage in his eyes. Yesterday, he made the decision to be baptized in the name of Jesus. When he came out of the water, God healed him and restored his sight. Our God still does miracles and it's happening right here in Clawson, Michigan. Come be part of it. What we understand is that they perform baptism in the name of Jesus only. But does Jesus himself, according to the Bible, agree with them? Matthew 28 verse 19. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Jesus himself, according to the Bible, disagrees with the video. According to him, baptism should be in the names of the three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So who is right? Jesus or the pastor in this video? But to be fair, not only this pastor who went against the commandment of Jesus, but also the disciples of Jesus. According to the Bible, they ignored what Jesus said and only did baptism in the name of Jesus alone. Acts 2 verse 37 to 38. When the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to other apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So the disciples ignored Jesus and only baptized in the name of the singular name of Jesus rather than the triune formula Father, Son and Holy Spirit. They can't be both right. This is a clear cut inconsistency in the Bible. Performing miracles and healing is not a sign of truthfulness. Power! Even false prophets, according to the Bible, can perform miracles. Mark 13 verse 22. For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. This is why we don't judge a religion by subjective dreams and visions, or by the performance of a magician or a trickster liar. We judge religion by its scripture. And if it was through this type of performances, then Hinduism would also be true. People have been doing spiritual sadhana and they've been in touch with this water. The quality of that is there in the water. Sundarlal Bahaguna went about proving this to people, uh, but his own health got transformed tremendously just living on the Ganga bank. According to Hinduism, this Ganges river is the personification of the goddess Ganga. And not only that, you can read Living with the Himalayan Masters by Swami Rama who was an Indian yoga guru. In page 36 he said, Later I met a man who worked as a salesman in a store that sold sewing machines in Delhi. I told him about the Haji and his powers. The salesman said, If he can get a single sewing machine from my store in Delhi, I will consider him to be the greatest man alive and follow him for the rest of my life. So we both went to him and requested him to perform the miracle. He said, I will get it immediately and it appeared. Then the salesman became concerned that it would be missing from the store and he might be accused of stealing it. The Haji tried to send it back but he could not do so. He started weeping and crying, I've lost my powers. This is a first person experience. He claimed that he saw with his own eyes an object transported from a store in Delhi, India to the Himalayan mountains. But by living with those so-called masters and gurus, he discovered the truth. On page 37 he said, Later I realized that mostly such phenomena are tricks. Wherever they are found to be genuine, they are black magic. Spirituality has nothing to do with these miracles. So should we also follow Hinduism and become polytheists like them? Because they also perform miracles and healing. Of course not. That's why we should all put our scriptures 
us to the test. Alhamdulillah, we are blessed with Islam, the only monotheistic religion in the world. Our scriptures are the only preserved scriptures in the world. We believe in all the prophets of God, including Jesus alayhi salam and Moses alayhi salam. Peace and blessing of Allah be upon them all. Let me be clear once and for all. The perceived extraordinary healings and miracles done by Christians are just tricks, deceit, optical illusions or acting nothing more and nothing less if they were people of truth they would repent and come back to monotheism and stop worshipping a human being but they are happy with their polytheism that's why we can't trust anything they claim to be supernatural by the way if you are a person who take his religion seriously because of videos like this of miracles and spiritual healings and so on then you will be easily deceived by the Dajjal the Antichrist who will also perform a number of apparently extraordinary feats at his hands as a test we Muslims alhamdulillah don't believe God is a human Human being and any human being claiming to be God is a liar and should be rejected immediately even if he performs miracles Power! For us such a person is an enemy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a magician But Christians on the other hand believe a human being can be God And that's why they will follow the Antichrist so easily Because he will claim to be God, perform miracles just like Jesus did May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the fitna of the Dajjal My brothers and sisters please protect yourselves from such beliefs with Tawheed through monotheism learn your religion and have a strong connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and reject any form of magic and amulets because that shirk and rejected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his prophet Uqba ibn Amir reported that the messenger of Allah peace and blessings be upon him said whoever hangs an amulet around his neck has committed an act of idolatry may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from idolatry and shirk I hope you benefited from this video. You can also watch this video about an ex-Muslim caught lying about the Quran and Islam. And don't forget to subscribe for daily uploads. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum.